Magic Legends is a brand new ARPG that takes the Magic the Gathering universe and pairs it with Diablo or PoE gameplay, bringing with it a simpler and more accessible approach to the ARPG genre, while still maintaining uniqueness and vast customization through deck building to form your own build through different spells and creatures. So the question is... I'm going to preface this video by saying that I am not an ARPG fan, but I am a big Magic fan and I think that this game takes aspects from both types of games and put them together extremely well. In Magic Legends, you play as a planeswalker, able to travel between worlds called planes at will, the first of which will be your home realm. There are five free classes to choose from, one for each color of Magic. The Beast Caller, which is green, the Necromancer, which is black, the Mind Mage, which is blue, the Geomancer, which is red, and the Sanctifier, which is white. You will be able to unlock them event all eventually in your home realm, so just choose the one that you think you would like the best for now. After completing the tutorial in the first zone, this is where the game really starts to open up, with the ability to build decks out of hundreds of different cards and color combinations. These cards act as your abilities. You can have four drawn at a time and a new one will randomly spawn each time from your deck after you use a spell. As you can see, I currently have two decks at the moment. One is a green creature deck filled with creatures and it uses the beast color class. The second is a red blue spell deck with the mind mage class. This is where the bulk of your unique playstyle will come into play, crafting your own deck as you see fit and pairing it with equipment and artifacts that will synergize well together. In your home plane, you can interact with different buildings, allowing you to harvest mana, upgrade and unlock new spells, as well as get materials to unlock and upgrade new artifacts. You want to upgrade these structures as your first priority. The next plane that you'll want to familiarize yourself with is the Sanctum. The Sanctum acts as the multiplayer hub for Magic Legends. You'll be able to see lots of other players around in your instance. And there's also a PvP arena, a tailor to change your look, and a player market broker. However, this is where the problems start to arise. When I first heard that Cryptic Studios was going to be the developers of Magic Legends, I was a bit skeptical. They were notorious to filling their games with microtransactions galore, and no doubt they were going to try and fill Magic Legends with them as well. And sure enough, at the start of the open beta, every microtransaction you could think of you could be found in Magic Legends. A battle pass with free and premium track, premium currency, different types of pack bundles, cosmetics. They even put a sixth class behind a loot box paywall. That's right, not only was there a sixth class with a new, few new cards and equipment and artifacts, but there was but it was also only a chance for you to get it. I remember watching a video of someone who spent the daily limit of $200 on Demir Assassin packs and didn't manage to get the new class. You can try your luck at using the in-game currency exchange to try and convert Ether into premium currency, but the prices fluctuate drastically, and to get the 1200 Zen you need for the class is a hefty sum of Ether, and that is where the player market that I mentioned earlier comes into play. With the player market, you can actually pay gold to actually buy the class. Unfortunately, it's fluctuating at about 8 million plus right now, which is unfeasible for someone who probably would just buy the packs directly themselves. However, Cryptic Studios has heard the complaints, and although at the time of this recording it is not implemented, by the time this video releases, the new class and its cards can be unlocked by reaching level 50, which is the max level of the battle pass, through both the free or the premium track. I think this is a great and much needed change, and if they keep this for every new class they plan to add, then this solves my biggest issue I've had with the game. In addition, Cryptic Studios has been very transparent with their updates and how they are listening and implementing player feedback in terms of the player economy, the gameplay loop, and balancing. In, additional, in addition to the battle pass and class changes, they have also shortened the tutorial to allow players to get started on the deck building faster, and have also doubled the chances of getting new spells and spell pages from enemies and all types of content. If you are an avid ARPG fan looking for the next ARPG to play while you wait for the new Diablo or next PoE, I encourage you to try to give this game a try. 
If you are a fan of the Magic Universe and want to see it in a new way, I definitely recommend trying the game out for yourself as I have been enjoying it a lot. Every time I see a new character that I recognize from the card game, I smile knowing that the characters and spells I've been playing with as cards show up as fully fleshed out and voiced characters in the game. Magic Legends is a much more casual ARPG experience compared to Diablo or PoE, but I think that the uniqueness of it more than makes up for it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing for more Magic Legends content. If you are already playing Magic Legends and think I missed or anything, leave a comment down below. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.